Hello people, this is uh, Mike Jr. the second, and now we are continuing uh, Dark Cloud. Now, if you forgot what happened last time, we uh, beat the Evil Genie and all that, and then, you know, everything was okay. But, in case you forgot, we still have an, an a, a 100 floor level to do. At the very end, a very difficult boss to fight. And this is from the Demon Shaft. Now, as I've said, the Demon Shaft was not actually in the Japanese version of uh, Dark Cloud. At least, uh, to my knowledge, there might have been another version that was released that came out with the Demon Shaft, but other than that, the Demon Shaft was not, um, in the original version of Dark Cloud, of the Japanese version. And, uh, you can actually go, if you've already actually beaten the game, you can actually go straight to the Demon Shaft after you have beaten it. And here is the actual area. I forgot if I showed this off off-screen or not, but usually when you, uh, come here, there's, like, this cinema scene where you see how tall this thing is. Yes, we can't even see the, the very top. Because all of those are floors. Remember, this is an 100 floor dungeon and it is very hard. Now, I did technically beat the first level um, off screen, but uh, I just wanted to test to see how everything would work. Now, before we do anything, really, I want to show you guys my stats for my weapons. And uh, I forgot. Should probably uh, repair these right away. Because we're going to need them. Uh, so, in case you guys have not seen yet, oh, of course, Mittens, Mittens has it. I have maxed out everything with this, uh, you saw the cross hinder last time, I decided to evolve it into the Big Bang so I could get more attack on this thing, and then I raised, uh, basically, Mittens didn't need any more attack, this thing literally gives 151, I believe, or 53, in terms of attack, and basically a lot of other things, so basically when we put this in, everything is maxed out, everything, for both characters, by the way, so, uh, yep. So I'm using Mittens because um, I believe Mittens has a better attack. Mittens does have a better attack than uh, Ruby, the uh, genie, which people usually like to use, and she is a lot quicker. And I think that's going to be more effective in um, this area than uh, what Ruby would do because she's well powerful is very slow. So and the same thing goes for Michael. He is our tone. He is basically at maxed everything with the Chronicle Sword, which is the most powerful we can get at this point. So yep, and we're going to go in with uh, Michael at first, but for the most part, Mittens is probably going to be the main person being used. Because uh, she can be very fast. Yeah, basically, she's very fast and uh, very efficient. Now, this is actually the really cool thing about this place, is one, it actually looks really bright and new for a dungeon. Meaning it's mostly probably been untouched for a while. And uh, for the most part, this is what we got to actually bring us to the next floor. And we actually need the Black Knight's Crest to get to the place. But this is the Demon Shaft. Really interesting music they have going for here. But anyway, as you can see, I've killed a few people already, so I've already been to this floor. But I haven't actually completed it yet. So this is going to be 100 floors. I don't know if I'm going to record all of them. I'll probably speed up some uh, floors later off in the future. And probably do commentary. And as you can see, we do the same thing over here. Now do not... See this? That is a Gamorian, or whatever the fuck the same name is, and it is weak to ice, so you need an ice attribute to do more damage. And even when you do that... Ah, shit. God damn it. There's the, there goes the quality again. The quality's doing it. I don't know what it is. I think it might be the game. It's not used to having a lot of memory. Currently, we're able to tank this, and I'm stuck in a situation because I don't have my... Uh, these out. Oh, and I didn't really show my stuff. I have a lot of water, this... Full heals, uh, definitely you're gonna be wanting your fucking standby powder and revive powder. No fucking doubt. I mean, oh, nice! And as I've said, uh, I'll, I'll show off a little bit of the place first. But as I've said... Not sad. Game seems a little weird. Um, you don't actually need uh, to grab anything here. There's no Gamorrean parts or anything. You just need to come in here and beat the level. Ah! So, yep. Now, I do believe you actually have the back dungeon key, yeah, so be careful of some of these guys, because if they block and you attack the bigger monsters, you lose, or your sword can basically get down to zero and break. So, uh, show off a little bit of it, we're gonna be seeing a lot of it, so there's really no point of showing off of all of it. So, some of this might be based on luck. A few things to point out, too, and there's a few things I need to show you guys, too. A few things to point out is that in this game there are actually in or in this area there are no um limit zones basically it's all based on how powerful you are as a player to actually beat these guys halloween how the hell are you here 
That's a weird rehash. And Master Jacket? What? The weird thing is, these guys are a lot stronger than they are. Oh shit, Volcana. Didn't I believe this guy was on the moon, or...? Ah, shit. Come on, don't be hitting me with your penis. Fire acquired. Ha, stole it from you. Gotcha. Haha, <laughs> bitch. That's weird. Now, I do believe we do get the back dungeon key in this place, because in the Japanese version, you could get it in the final area, the uh, time gate, but you couldn't get it... Um, obviously, you couldn't get it here, because this was not in the Japanese version. Ooh, stamina drink. That'll be nice. And as you can see, it's I believe it's called the Gorgon's Eye. So, yeah. Get that, you can go to the back dungeon. Uh, I don't know if you increase your chances. Oh, well. Already over here. Nice. I don't know if it increases your chances of getting parts or anything, so it might be best just to stay away from them. Just kind of beat the 100 things. Because as you've seen, we're already at full level with everything. There's nothing we can do now that could help us out besides get better items or something. Now, I should point out that the mummies are weak to fire. I'm not sure about all the enemies in this area. S some of the enemies actually cannot deep, uh, are only uh, weak to one attribute. And if you have anything else, even no, I believe even no attribute, it, um, uh, doesn't work against them. Which actually makes Ruby kind of, uh, not as great as a character to use for that reason. And people might not understand why, but Ruby actually can't, has to have some kind of magical attribute selected. Mittens does not, so that's why I picked Mittens just in case I'm in a case where I don't have a good melee person. And trust me, you don't want to bring out anybody you're not going to use here. Oh. Uh, Need to switch my uh, attributes. Oh, that's cool. When I paused the game, his textures were still going. That's kind of funny. I can even do it again real fast to show you guys. So, yep. Actually, I should show something real fast. Oh, I'm gonna dang him right now. So, anyway, sorry about that. Um, yes, uh, some of the things we actually got, as you can see, we have a critical and a poison thing. Now, if you do not see the update video, go watch that so you can understand what exactly had that. But as I told you guys, the poison attribute, um, or the poison, um, whatever, the special, can poison enemies, and they don't take a lot of damage. But in this area, if you poison them, you can just leave them alone forever and wait for them to die. It's a good way to um, kill some enemies that might be very difficult to kill. And the other, uh, you can get that from the poison, which is from Justin. You can you can actually get that from the fishing thing, but I found it on uh, Moon the Moon Sea, one of the chests. Now another one you can see is the critical one. That one's uh, did I actually change the attribute? I didn't, did I? See, because I'm I'm simple minded. I'm stupid. The other one is the critical attribute. I thought you could only actually get that one here. At least that's what I when I was looking up stuff. I found I heard that you can only get it here. But in actuality, uh, not only is it harder to get. It is actually harder to get that uh, attribute than um, apparently even the durable one, and uh, I got it from the five or it was, I think it was like the five foot or the I don't believe it'd be five inch, so like the five foot nail, and that was also a Justin weapon. It was very short, by the way. It was a pain in the ass to level up, but um, gotcha. God, four thousand damage, fucking insane. So, uh, but yeah, that's where I got it from, and it, uh, there's the oh, crystal eye, not the gorgon's eye. Yeah. Boom. I love this fucking sword; it's so cool. But anyway, yeah, um, that's where I got the critical from. And if you're wondering what it does, basically, every once in a while, you can do a one-hit kill. Um, I've actually never seen it effective. I haven't seen it actually become effective, and more than likely, I never will, because unless somehow mittens gets it. Chances of that happening are slim to none. Now, as you can see, the enemies are actually hard to fight here. This actually is competitive. It is a hard dungeon all of a sudden. Which is funny, because, you know, as we know now, it really wasn't before. It was just like, hey, guess what? We kick ass. Uh, kick everything's ass. And it's kind of cool that we actually have this now, because now you can really play it. You can see the game being played effectively. Because without this, while the game is still good, it's still, um... It was a very easy game, unless you were fighting some of the bosses. I have that crest, so let's go the fuck back home. I don't care about any other enemies in here. Doesn't fucking matter. I'll get some of these items, though, just in case. Oh, the silver key. Ah, yes, that is the uh, the key to open certain places. But we don't need that, so fuck it. Um, it's one of the lower levels. I think I'll actually show off the back dungeon. I realize I'm actually running low on water, so it's a good thing I bought a lot of the premium stuff. Now, uh, with the back dungeon, I think I'll use mittens, because the motherfuckers are probably going to be very, very difficult to, um, contain. So, actually, let's stick up mittens. Hey, mittens. 
What's going on? D Kitty ain't playing round. Anyway, jokes aside, let's go uh, kick some ass. Thing probably, I believe the crystal eye will probably sell for a bit too, so. Might only be as much as the other keys. Hey, look, these are all the keys here, folks, that you can get in this place, so. You put the crystal eye in the sculpture. Touch the sculpture, and obviously it kind of switches around. Pretty simple, but hey, whatever works. And as you can see, it's actually darker. That's like one of the weirdest things about this place. The good thing we got the key, and there's actually a water place hills here. Ooh, a paradit. Uh, again, not that useful because I've already maxed out everything. There's literally no point unless I want to put it on the weapon in case uh, I run into one of those stamina things. Now, there's a big chest here. I wonder, that's probably a king mimic. It's not, ooh. Use the key being carried. Tear the trap away and... That's odd, it never said that before. Uh, must be a stinger, an explosive, or be a spell. Huh. So from the looks of it, did different people translate this part of the game? Because it looks a lot different. Ooh, the cross hinder. That was actually the original weapon before I evolved into the Big Bang, if you saw the update video. Sure, curiosity, let's look at it. Uh, yeah. Pretty funny. Come on. You gotta get kind of close with some of these motherfuckers. So, but that's the thing, you can't really do that with Ruby. Ruby's a very slow fighter. Uh, Mittens is not. Mittens can, ooh, sell. This is a rock type monster, as you can see. And I do believe they can guard, and as I, you know, we've seen sell actually. But I, I do believe they can guard, and when they guard, they can actually bring down your weapon to um, zero. Or at least at the very, not really zero, but the durability down to one. And if you attack again, that means it's automatically destroyed if you hit anything. And uh, that sucks when you destroy your Chronicle Sword, so every time... Here's the thing, every like five levels, you might want to come out of here and save. Just in case that happens. But as I've said, for the most part, most of this dungeon is probably going to be done with Mittens. Uh, she is very weak, I will I will state that uh, clearly. She is a very weak person, but she's fast. And that's really all she needs to be, is fast. Okay, let's get Mike in here real fast. Get all one up good so again after this uh, no more back dungeons I don't care no more back dungeons. I don't give no shit oh shit hey where the fuck you guys come from gotcha Ooh, repair powder that's nice Could always use more repair powder gotcha oh come on yeah. fuck you guys I only want the items anyway not dead buster, woohoo, we got one in the next area, so catch you guys later. Fuck you guys, I going home. Alright, now time to go to the next one. So yes, um, I, uh, I actually just started playing the game like two days ago, and that's when I leveled up everything. I'm not even kidding with that, too. So, uh, things have been pretty easy in terms of leveling shit up. I got, I ain't, mm, just, I kind of was just like, hey, I think I'm gonna play the game all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, I got the fucking poison thing, and then I'm like, well, poison's not that big of a deal, I don't need poison. And then all of a sudden, I got the fucking, uh, critical, I'm just like, critical? Uh, I mean, I never thought I was gonna be able to show that off, I thought I was just gonna be like, fuck it, hey, there's another thing in this game called critical, does one hit kill, but chances of me getting it. Because that's what I've been reading, is that it, it's even less likely to get it than the durable ability. And if it's less likely than the fucking durable ability, that's gonna be hard. And uh, and, it, and I, to my knowledge, it's only in chests too, basically. Like, you can actually buy weapons, as you've seen with the, um... The kitchen knife. Because if you have the kitchen knife, obviously you can, um... I don't know why I can't speak. Um, if you have the kitchen knife, you get the thirst thing, and then, um... Then I was able to get the durable thing on the first go, mind you. <laughs> Badass me over here. Um, but yeah, I was able to get the kitchen thing. Yeah, I was able to get the kitchen thing, I don't really know what else to say. Now, let's see... All that power. Plus, we get to steal more shit. Like, this way up, White Fang. Hey, you. Apparently, this thing takes no damage against ice. So, I'm um, take a guess and say holy, maybe? Nope. 
Um, see, as you can see, this is a monster that doesn't take a damage against a lot of stuff. We'll say fire. Nope, it might just be regular damage, so let's give that a shot. Now, if you want regular damage, you just take it off. Yep. White Fang is uh, resistant. See what they see? I like that idea, but the only issue is that having to pause the game and turn it. See, Crystal Eye, goddammit. Out of all the places, this is the area that gives us everything we wanted. See, look at all that damage being done. Ruby would never be able to do that much. Hell, she wouldn't even be able to hurt this fucking thing. We'd have to pull out, uh. Mike. And there might be situations where I just don't want to use Mike because certain area, and we already have this. So, uh, we'll, we'll open some of these boxes up, see if we can get anything. Yes, and now I just need the map. I hope I don't get hit by that. Yes, okay. I was hoping I didn't get hit by that, because that's one of the issues is the monsters moving when you open chests. Map, cool. I wanted that just so I could figure out, uh, where, uh, the exit is, and I'm gonna go straight to that. Because as I've said, this is not something, this is not an area you want to fuck around in. And there's a diamond! We actually only saw that in the last area. So yeah, repeat enemies, and there's actually going to be one interesting enemy in the game. Very late game, but it's going to be there. Yeah. Do you guys remember the little monsters that the final boss actually used to fight us that it kept bringing to life? That's actually in this dungeon. I'm not even kidding. It's uh, pretty cool. <laughs> I was able to target him through the wall. That's funny. So I actually came here at Cheats one time before. I'm not even kidding with that, too. And uh, I have to say, ugh, I hate that fucker over there. This guy can block most of your shit until he opens up like that. Oop, I poisoned him. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to show you guys how that how effective it is. Basically, we poison him. And we leave his ass alone and go home. I guess you could technically do the same with, um... Ah, I thought I killed you. You could technically do the same with poison apples, but then you actually have to equip them and shit, and that's just a pain in the ass, so... Thank you. Repair powder. Nice. Actually, I'll use that because Mittens is getting kind of low. You can't really risk it with the... You can risk it with the range fighters because obviously they only take damage when they shoot. Hey, pal. How's that? Uh, oh, God. You take a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was, I was like, where the hell did this thing go on? I forgot I don't have the crystal here yet, so... I won't know when he dies exactly. Though I do believe if he drops an item, we'll find out about that. That's when these things guard. They don't guard often. You just have to get close to them. Motherfucker. Gotcha. 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 Come on. Ooh, nice. I didn't see him open his thing there. I just fired. Randomly so. Good thing I did that, huh? So, Mittens is pretty awesome. Hey, fish stuff. Yeah, I'm done with fucking fish. I tried catching a lot of fish to get the shit in this game, but it did not fucking work out, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, fucker. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck y'all shit. Nah, I thought that was the item. A lot of chest here. No, I'm actually not sure what happens if the enemies die far away. No, he's still in there. Um... It might be possible that it's only if, if they're in a certain range they take damage. We'll look at that in a second. See how much health he has left. Because it might be... Because if that's so, that's still not that big of a deal. We can't, we won't exactly leave them. Eh. He would have been dead by now looking at the damage he was taking from that poison. Because it was like 235, I think it was. It's a lot of fucking shit. Um, I'm just going to see it real fast because I really think it'd be a good idea. To figure out whether or not it would be a good effective strategy to use the poison thing and what we exactly have to do to make the monsters take damage so uh, before we actually leave I'm gonna go look at that Th really these first few levels are gonna be me kind of figuring out what this place is because I have never been here before yeah another game where I haven't done much no he is taking damage from the looks of it no it looks like we have to be in the area and he dies thank you for the money so yep Gotta say, big bucks is pretty nice, so we get every five monsters we get about a hundred stuff, so that's pretty sweet. And I think I'll heal up the water first. There we go. 
So, uh, yeah, so we, we have to be in the area, but that's not that big of a deal, really. All we have to do is stand back, and unless they're really that much of a pain in the ass, we'll be fine. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is my first time here. Again, another game like Coliseum and XD, where I, um... Which is funny because uh, Coliseum next year like my fifth game. I, I, in my one video, I said my fifth, and, and for this game was my fourth. It's kind of funny, but yeah, I never actually got this far. I I know about it, but I just I I wasn't that good to really think I'd have a, I, I should do it. I actually cheated because I haven't showed you guys yet, but there's this thing called a broken dagger glitch, where you can actually uh, get this thing called a broken dagger. Basically, I know it's weird. It's like, wait a second, the dagger can't be broken. But yeah, that's the glitch part of it. It turns into like it's a synth spear, and when you, when you attach it, attach it, it maxes most of everything, basically. And uh, I came here with that, though. Notably, that thing actually doesn't have. It says it has the abilities, but it actually doesn't. Come on, motherfucker. And as you can see, there's actually no. That's not a different version. It kind of looked like it for a second. I thought it was pink. We will be fighting new versions of this monster. There will be ones of every elemental. I'm not sure about a... Oh, hey, you. Did you see that thing when it died? It, weird, it had a weird steam effect. I like that. Again, as said... I don't pay attention to you now. Fuck you. As I've said, um... Use the key being carried. See? Stinger, which is poison. See, that's just weird. Hey, machine gun. We're not going to use it. Come on. Aw, oh, too bad. That's absolutely hilarious, by the way. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that's his physical attack. I'm, I'll take a guess and say. So, yep. We will see more on elemental versions of that. Like, uh, definitely ice. I remember seeing an ice before, so... Uh, to my knowledge, it changes like every 10 levels, the monsters you see. You know, it might even uh, change even faster, depending on what's going on. I forget, it's been a while since I've looked at the thing for this. Because um, I actually checked beforehand if there were limit zones, and I thought there were limit zones for each individual character. And I was wrong about that. You know what? I'm happy I was fucking wrong, because I don't want to have to level up all my fucking characters. Though I did treat my characters as if I'd had to, so that's why they were pretty strong for the final area, where we had to do the limit zones. Because I knew we had to do them there. I remember that as a kid, because it like, fucking took forever. Oh, come on, you shouldn't be able to do it that close. Gotcha. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, Crest. Alright, let's skip through everything. Hey, have a good day, bye. Oh, great. We need a key here. Um... Right next to the fucking thing. Okay, whoever did the placement for that was fucking stupid. I don't mean for the game, I just mean for, like, whoever did that in the dungeon. I shall put the silver key right next to the place you have to use it in. Um, well, how would that be effective, Black Knight? Don't judge my methods. To the next floor. View, what is this, six? Making good timing if we're getting six out of, out of, out of 25 minutes. Actually, I want to look at my phone real fast. All right, back real fast. So that was quick. Yeah, fuck your nuts. Looks like there's a, oh no, it's that fucking thing. Nicopoc Nicopocus. This is yeah, a weird thing. This is actually what killed me before when I first played this game a long time ago with the broken dagger glitch. Yeah, don't use the broken dagger glitch by the way. It's just it's not really that effective. Play the game efficiently. You can't even sell it or anything. So not that. I don't know, I don't even believe you can sell it, I believe it's uh, impossible to sell it, so... I mean, it, I mean, it only fucks shit up if you actually synth it onto something. Completely, like, upgrade it then. Hello, White uh, Fang, how are you? Gonna take damage now? Yeah. Sucks to be you. That poison thing is helpful. Ooh, cheese! Cheese for everyone! If only they could fall from the sky. Or, the ceiling. <laughs> That'd be funny if the Black Knight was, uh, Dragora. Gorath? J Dragoroth? Ah, freeze! Ha, ah, what's the matter, motherfucker? Neutering time! So, yeah. I know some of you guys are kind of annoyed I'm using Mittens and not Mike, but, um, again, Mittens is more effective. She can, she can attack people from ranged and really fast, so I use her for the most part. 
If you don't like it, then go fuck off. I don't give no shits. Oh, what's in this one? Hey, a bone thing, which sells for like 20. It's apparently being made from bone is like, uh, being made from pennies. Not even pennies. Pennies that can't be distinguished as pennies, therefore they're worth nothing. Got a lot of Drance feathers and shit. I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Gotcha. Gotcha again. You're not that smart, are you? Ah. Gotcha. I do like I, I do like them reusing the monsters. Now I'm actually curious if uh, Steve says something different when if you talk to him. I've never actually talked to these guys though, so uh, I don't know. We can use Steve real fast. Have some fun. Just kind of read some of the monsters. I want his mittens. <laughs> it is the same thing. I remember we were, I was talking to Halloween. Just off him already. Baked pumpkin, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pudding. Okay, what do you have to say about White Fang? Leave me alone for a while, huh? Everyone thought my sister and I got along real well. <laughs> I love fucking Steve. As long as I'm alive, good things will happen. Andy, brother, stop it, stop it. Phew. It was a dr it was a dream. It was a nightmare. I can't believe it. What the hell were they thinking with that one? He's more civil than white, isn't he? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Although his name is was white in it, don't think he's vulnerable to it. Ah, holy. To build up dragons, why you need dragons, plants, beast, and bird. What? My dad is one of those stars in the sky. What the fuck are you doing? I, uh, I don't fucking know Steve. I don't know. Now we're actually gonna be needing Steve for later in the game. Gotcha. But we are gonna be needing Steve uh, later on in the game because um. Actually, we're getting thirsty here. I won't worry about it too much, but uh, yeah. But uh, we're gonna need Steve for exactly uh something special with the final boss because it actually it's something actually important that's said. Steve's a fucking goof. I'll tell you that right now. And I'll get some water real fast. Thank you. And guess what? Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Now, the cool thing about these guys is you get the anti-cursed amulets, which sell for 200 each. Fucking good shit. Oh, yeah, and they can spit out fire. Keep that in mind. Gotcha. Gotcha again. Gotcha again. Ah. Come on, motherfucker. Bring it on. Ooh. Good guy hit there. Now, none of the guys have actually hit me yet, besides the fire guys hitting Tone, so I'm not sure about how much damage they can do. I'm not exactly sure if I actually have everything yet for all the defensive stuff, because I keep finding random shit through everywhere. Like, one time I went up to go talk to the fish guy, and he fucking get- it. I like- apparently one of the chests were like hiding in a barrel or something, I was like, what? Just out of nowhere, you got a- it was something shitty too, it was like, you got a uh, full heal or something like that, I was just like, what? Black Crest, get the fuck out of here. Those treasures are probably just a map and something else. I don't give no shits. So currently we got five floors a level. Or, or uh, about 30 minutes every uh, six levels. And that's now. So uh, more than likely I'm going to have to speed this up for the future. I'll, I'll do commentary over it, though, because, um... What's the point if you don't have commentary? So, yeah, um... We know what I'm texting my girlfriend about. She's gonna be coming over later today, because uh, summer has started. And, uh, it's nice. Very nice. I need I need this summer. Fucking college is paying the ass. But, uh, we were talking, uh, we were playing, I have a Wii U, and we were, um, playing, uh, Nintendo Land. And we were playing, uh, the, oh, fucking this guy. Yeah, remember, this guy's the one where if he guards and you hit him with a melee attack, and he's fucking pain in the ass, too. Don't try to fight him with anybody but a ranged fighter. Do not fight him with Mike, you will die. Um, but anyway, we were playing, uh, Pikmin, what the hell? Oh, Silver Key, yeah. It just looks better in open areas, which is kind of cool. But we were playing the Pikmin minigame on Nintendo Land, 
and uh, it was really funny because I let her use the gamepad and she loves the Pikmin. It's just like, I love my Pikmin, they bring me stuff. <laughs> that was just, it was really funny and then she got sad when they were getting hurt. She like, she was really mothering the fucking Pikmin, it was really funny. And uh, we're gonna be playing that again today, that'll be a lot of fun. I do love uh, hanging out with her. And it's, it's weird, some people have issues with hanging out with the things, or with the people they like, and it's just like, uh, why the fuck are you there with them? Go find somebody else you enjoy being with, or else you're just a fucking dipshit who's waiting for something bad to happen. At least that's how I look at it, personally. Ah. Uh, so I don't really know what else to talk about. I'm gonna be doing, uh, I don't know if I've, I announced this in the update video, so I should, this is, should, already, should already be heard by most of you guys. Gonna be doing a playthrough of Infamous soon. I actually tried doing one a long time ago, not really a long time ago, re uh, not too long ago, and uh, I had problems with the footage that even uh, the trial version of the Sony Vegas I was using was, uh, couldn't even fix. So it was weird, very, very weird. Ah, I got another crystal eye. After the 10, I think I'm gonna go back and save. Sell some shit, uh, probably turn them in the gold bars. Cause really, as I've said, we've already maxed out everything. We don't need money for anything else in the game, but one thing, and that's gonna be the items we're gonna be using. The stamina drinks, etc, etc. So, yeah. No, we don't have the keys. Actually, how many items do we have now? God, we're almost full. Um... Wait, no, we're already at the fucking crest. Why the fuck am I going anywhere? See, I'm not that smart. I was about to say, I was like, did I have the crest? I'm like, no, I don't have the crest. If I look for it, I'll look stupid. No, I'm, I'm stupid. I had that happen in the uh, Xbox One discussion video I had with uh, Matt and Dave. Really, uh, really fucking funny. Uh, I spelt my name wrong. I forgot the E and the. And uh, I'm pretty stupid, I have to admit. But it was it was pretty funny. Because it's just like, damn it! And then I fucked up with something else later that day. I'm just like, see the stupid, it just never leaves. And uh, this kind of reminds me of that. Ah! She, he shot through the fucking monster. That's bullshit. Bullshit game, I call bullshit. At least I got your fucking money. Yeah, I'm taking out you first, motherfucker. Oh, he's on the other side. That's cool. Technically, it's not every five monsters, but every five monsters that drop coins. I should probably clarify on that bit. Because I forgot about that. I always forget, they don't always drop coins. Sometimes they do, but not always. Uh, they really should have all dropped coins, personally. I think it would have been better. Uh, they did do that in Dark Cloud 2, which was nice. But I don't like a lot of things that they did in Dark Cloud 2. <laughs> Again, nothing against the game, just I do believe Dark Cloud uh, 1 is the better game. Uh, does it have rough edges? Definitely. But I think, uh, here's the thing, Dark Cloud 1 has a lot of pros and cons where uh, I think Dark Cloud 2 has a lot less cons but also a lot less pros too to the game, at least in my opinion. I mean, as a game on its own, it is absolutely, it is a good game on its own. Uh, and I definitely will be doing a gaming era of it in the future, because I can't leave this game alone. I have to do I have to do some kind of review of both the games. Poisoned bitch. You know, fall down soon. Come on. Don't be a pussy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Nice. No crest, okay. So. Got you. Oh, how the fuck? Oh, that was the critical. That was the critical, no doubt. That's the critical for you, folks. Yeah. Kind of effective with mittens, because keep in mind, if it always does uh, one hit kill, and mittens who use, who's a ranged fighter uses it, means we can get a lot of bang for our buck. Uh, chances of getting that bang to work is going to be the difficult one, but it's still going to be hard. So, yeah. I definitely think I'm going to be doing these uh, off uh, off screen. Some of these levels, I th I think I thought about doing it that I could do it. Uh, I'll do ten levels um, on screen and then I'll do twenty levels sped up, and then I'll do like ten level levels off screen, ten levels sped up. I don't know. There are twenty levels sped up, so yeah. I don't know how it's going to work out. I might even just do the rest of it differently and just talk over it, cause uh, yeah. Oh shit. 
Back off. Back. Gotcha. Silver Fang. Oh. All right then. So. E. Hey, Nick. Uh, Nickapus. Or I don't even know how to fucking say that. Gotcha. Death. Are we gonna hit mimics now? Nope. You know, I'm actually kind of curious. What happens if you go into the back dungeon and then come back? Does the uh, the key item, which to leave the area, does that actually... Um... There are no traps yet. That's funny. Apparently, some of the so some of the traps you've actually unlocked in the game are uh, don't have anything on them, which is kind of funny. But I've actually been kind of curious. If you go back there and you come back, does the placement of the uh, key differ because obviously um like the silver key and shit has to be on the right side for you to actually you know fucking use it and it's actually kind of nice you can steal a lot of fire from these guys because that they'll sell for like what 150 a pop we got a lot of stones i need to get rid of those antidote drink i don't know why you have that but whatever we shall roll with it yeah that was definitely a critical we hit that with earlier Okay, we should probably take some water, and I want to get rid of some of those stones. Because they're going to be blocking our inventory. So look at all that money we got right there. That's going to be a lot. Where are the stones at? Because I know I have a lot. Where did all the stones go? Because I know I collected a few more earlier. Unless I didn't, and I was... Oh, no, there's one. Okay, I collected one more earlier. One more, get over it. I wonder how much damage this uh, thing the bomb nuts do here. Kind of curious. Because if they do do a little bit of damage, it could be an effective way to uh, fight some of the enemies here. That still does pretty good. So, I guess if you ever get stuck in a situation, you could use items. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, that Dran's Feather broke the perfect fucking timing. Yeah, fuck you. Hey, potato cake. I don't want to see any more of those. Fuck potato cakes. Sorry, I've had to collect so many. Pain in the ass. <laughs> really is a pain in the ass to collect those fucking potato cakes. But they do sell for more. 225 so it's better to collect those. Um, Yeah, I guess I should tell you guys some of my methods. Uh, apparently, uh, I wanted to say this too. Apparently 14, level uh, 14, of the, um, the shipwreck actually has, the back dungeon actually has all of the monsters being those masked guys. Uh, because I kept, I think I kept using 11, but 11 has the mask guys and Sam's, which are, uh, the ice monsters. Or the ice, uh, kind of witch type things. But, um, apparently, idiot me didn't realize that the, um, apparently 14, I, I couldn't really have known, but 14 has all of them. Being mask guys, and you want that, so go to, uh, when you get to Flapping Fish, go to 14 instead. To level up your uh, abs real fast, because you don't need any of the repair powder or any of that shit. And we have you, so let's get the fuck out of here. So, I just wanted to say that real fast, and let's get, um... Now we have full shit, and we gotta be careful about having full shit, because if we have full shit, that means that, um... I'll get rid of the bombs, because I believe the bomb nuts are better, so... And the mellow bananas, we don't need those. Because if we don't have any uh, item places that carry items, we can't um, carry the crest, which uh, sucks. That means we have to get rid of shit at that time, and I don't have to do that. And I pushed the button before the screen even got up. Don't want to do that next time, because I believe we get to 10 next time. Oh, this is 10. Okay. So. Now after this, we're going to go back and save. Then I'll end the video there. So yeah, uh, that... Um, I showed you the one area back dungeon. I forgot exactly where it was. Uh, fucking Arthur's. Um... Hey, repair powder. At least that's nice. We need repair powder. It's funny we're actually able to... Oh, shit. We already got this fucking thing. Oh, God. Remember, those guys do wild attack power. Don't be fucking around with that. Now, can you be a map, please? Yes. Where's the thing at? This way. Let's go. 
But uh, yeah, the uh, just the regular five, not the back dungeon, but the regular five has of uh, the moon sea has. Uh, you're kidding, right? Oh my god, fuck me. Can the idiot have placed it here again? Ah, uh, bad timing. See, situations like that I fucking hate, because you get stuck in that situation and you can't get out. Well, I guess now we actually have to go collect items. Ugh. What do we actually have to search then? So technically, we, we might have to get the silver key to, to leave this place, which this place is probably filled with them because they knew that was your intentions. Something tells me that when they made the demon shaft, I think I think people probably like the ideal of not having to go to, um... I think it's possible that people like the ideal of not having to... Okay, we can have the rest carry, kill you. But they, did, they didn't like the idea... Something tells me people didn't like the ideal of the Gormaria parts. And, uh, personally, I do. I really like them because they make the... They give you a reason to stay, because other than that, the game just feels like a Mystery Dungeons clone. But, uh, it's not, you know? And I don't really like some of the stuff in Dark Cloud 2 because they make you do, like, challenges and stuff. And while that can keep the game going a little bit... Eh, fucking game. Uh, what do I don't need? Actually, why don't I just repair shit? See, and that's what I just need to do. I just need to repair a little bit more often. Watch, well, it's gonna be like a fucking stone. I oh, know, premium water, I could use that, so... So we didn't get the key, sadly. And we probably need to make more rooms, so fuck some of this shit. That should leave us room for uh, the key, so the key's at least in here. Unless I got it, I'm too stupid. Nope, it's here. Give me that silver key. Come on. Can you be lacking shiny objects? So, uh, yeah. But no, the regular mountain place and moon, if you use uh, use, use a weak weapon like the bandit slingshot to steal uh, potato cakes from those fuckers, and they sell for two twenty five each. To those who do not know, that is a lot of fucking shit. So, don't be thinking, are you kidding? Oh god. Hot, fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, don't tap the A button, because I don't want to go to the next floor. I mean, I do have escape powder, so I could leave, but uh, leave dungeon temporarily. Fuck yeah. And when you leave, you just go back out outside. So, yep. So, we got ten fucking floors done. Fucking insane, I'll tell you that much. I don't believe we have to beat them all at once. I doubt we do. So, uh, yeah. No, we know, we know we don't have to. I saw a video. So, yeah. Yes, I saw a video, therefore I don't have to do it outside. Now, time to uh, sell our shit. Let's see how much money we have after we sell all this shit. Because we got a lot of expensive shit here. And I'm uh, going to be turning that into gold and putting it to the old lady's house. The stats, which I'm still annoyed that they don't, you don't get more uh, money ba based off the thing. So, yeah. It's been a while as I've played, as you can see. Kind of, not really. So, I just suck. Alright then. Oh, of course, now it hits night. Oh, not night time. Whatever. I guess. Right, old man, let me sell you my shit. How much does this shit sell? 500? God, I wish I knew that so I could just keep going to the first level of that fucking place a thousand times. It'll save me some fucking trouble. Um, okay. I also got some of this shit back here, so let's sell this. Yes, I sold that. Fucking shoot me. And I sold that too, ha. Huh? Uh, continue, and I want to... In case I die. Alright, old hag. And yes, I haven't changed these places at all. You can change them to be more convenient or have more fun. But, uh, in actual gameplay aspect, there's no reason to. So you can see I do got some shit in here already, so, uh, yeah. Ba -na -na -na. I do love this music. There we go. So that's a lot of money we have in there, so sweet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, session of Dark Cloud. I think I'm going to do the next 20 um, off-screen. Not really off-screen, but I'm doing the next 20 floors uh, sped up. And uh, I probably will be putting commentary over them, so uh, I, will, I will still talk to you guys then. So you know, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time where we hit uh, levels 11 through 30 on the uh, the Demon Shaft. So I'll uh, catch you guys later.
Oh, and uh, real fast, in case you guys are curious. Seventy-eight. No, no, no. From the looks of it, rounded up. Seventy-nine fucking hours on this game. Fucking hell. I love it.